everybody. It's great to be with you at Prayer Connect again. And uh, thank you for gathering together in this way to pray. And our prayers at this time are powerful as they always are. And I just want to share something with you. I want to just welcome you all at home. And I also want to welcome those that are with me in the studio today. I want to share something with you uh, so that you can go bold. Remember, Pastor John said we are going to go big and bold into prayer. And so what makes us bold and what makes us be able to go big with big hearts and big faith into prayer is this. We have full freedom. This is Hebrews 10 verse 19 from the Amplified Bible. We have full freedom and confidence to enter into the Holy of Holies by the power and the virtue in the blood of Jesus. By this fresh new living way, which Jesus initiated and dedicated and opened for us through the separating curtain, the veil of the Holy of Holies through his flesh. And so we have boldness together right now because when we come to pray, you must remember and I must remember that we don't pray alone. We pray our spirits by the Holy Spirit within us prays. We pray with him. We pray with the Holy Spirit to the Father in the name of Jesus. And just as Jesus initiated and opened for us the way into the Holy of Holies, God was the one that initiated prayer because his sole purpose was so that he could answer. And so God can't do anything in the earth unless we pray. Because Jesus has given all authority to the church, to the ecclesia, those that are separated and called out and separated unto himself to rule and reign for his kingdom to come on earth as it is in heaven. And so it seems like a very big task if you think, but it's only us few. And there's such, so much that, 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 that God, we see that God seems to need to do in the earth. God has never needed a majority. He just needs a few people that understand authority, people that are under authority to be in authority, and people that have faith in the power of their prayers. So we come with faith to pray today. So we're coming to pray for our nation today, for South Africa. We're coming to pray for our president. We're coming to pray for all those men and women that are around him, right? For God to be able to have his way. So this morning when I was just praying in my own time for the nation, he just reminded me about something he said to me in 2017. And you do have this, if you have your prophecy and prayer file, you do have this in it. And the Lord said to me, your contest in this nation is not with flesh and blood. It is against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. Against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Against Sharon. That's what he said to me. Against. You must believe what I said to you. That because of appointment and because of assignment under the mantle of the apostolic that is upon Pastor John, there is increased authority, increased spiritual reinforcement of my heavenly host to listen to my words in your mouth for South Africa. So when we pray in tongues, as I will always say to you, and I will always remind you, our mind is unfruitful, but our, our words, the, the utterance that the Holy Spirit gives us is immediately intelligible to God. Immediately he, uh, he catches our reason and our meaning. He knows what we're saying. He understands and it goes straight. Our prayers now go straight to the bowls of heaven. The angels start working with it immediately. And you can go and have a look at that again in Revelations 4 and Revelations 8. And the answers come in the way that God is mighty and powerful to make them come. So now we're going to pray for this nation. And this was, he said, there's a, a heavenly showdown in this nation of South Africa. 
Truly, it's a war of words in the heavenly realm. It was something that Pastor John said to me one day, Sharon, this war in the heavenlies is a war of words, right? And so Daniel chapter 9, when Daniel started to pray, the angel came to him and said, your, the moment you started to pray, your words were heard, right? But there's a war, there was a war in the heavenlies. And so we win as long as we continue to pray. And so then he said to me, the spaces in this nation are yours. I told you South Africa is your inheritance. Occupy, inheritance occupation, Psalm 2. The spaces in this nation are yours. Many illegal occupants that must go now, fill all the spaces with your prayers now. Occupy in the spirit. Prayer is the energy that goes into the spaces to fill them, to evict and then to fill. How powerful is that? Mm. Praise, the Praise the Lord. And the house of prayer produces this like nothing else does. Occupy in prayer. It will translate. So then he gave me this as well. He said to me, at the same time, the more you pray, the more spiritual energy is released. I'm constantly putting forth my energy in you. The, the more spiritual energy is released, the more spiritual momentum is gained. The amount of prayer and the consistency of prayer is what makes the difference. Right. We know how to strike. We know how to strike. We know that teaching that Pastor John brought us where, where uh, it was Elisha, or I think it was Elisha or Elijah, one of the two, and, and he told that king, why did you only strike three times for victory? You should have struck until you got complete victory. We are a people who know how to strike in prayer and yes. we are consistent in prayer. Because that Elijah prayer in James says that Elijah was a man just like us. But he prayed and, 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 and then it didn't drain and then he prayed and then it drained and it says the fervent, effectual, continued heartfelt prayer of the righteous continues to make tremendous power available. That's just something you have to believe the Bible on that for you to have faith to even pray. Yes. Otherwise, it's just a religious exercise of something you're just ticking off while I prayed. No, this is our faith in what the Word says that prayer is. And so that's what we're doing tonight. We're praying for our nation. Hallelujah. And so... Uh, the angel said, I've come for your words. And the Lord says, I am working with all of your words now. So right now where we're praying now in the spirit together, he's working with all of our words. And you're praying, and you're praying, and you're praying, and you're praying, and you in that home praying, and you're praying all of our prayers, and all of it, because of who God is so powerful, he understands and catches all of the meanings of all of the prayers from all of the hearts. And he knows how to multitask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he knows how to multiply. Yes. And he knows how to work with our prayers. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory so to now God. we're going to pray. Right? We're praying with the Holy Spirit. Remember the Bible says, out of your belly shall flow forth rivers of living water. When the Holy Spirit came to live, he came to live in our heart. He lives in this area over here. Right? That's why out of our belly flows rivers. Because it's by the, the Holy Spirit by our spirit that flows. Right. So here we go now, Father. Father, we pray to you. We speak to you in the name of Jesus. All of us together right now for this nation, Father. We come to occupy spaces and places. We come to evict illegals, Father. We come to fill. We come just like Brother Jerry prophesied. Things will be shaken. Things will be displaced. Things will be replaced and things will be shifted, Father. We come to pray now in this nation, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so here we go. Sevrebe kasado broboshe rebado. Mene manaku roboshke rebado. Kodoku dubashu dubrogo dubashu. Yemene manu monokro bodado. She steve, 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 steve. Mabakama buba, broba, lubra, kodo, robo, robo, shoro. Yemene mana manoke rebasto do dobo roboshe rebira brabaka. Yene marabo doboshe debriba dabore mene. 
de mano manoke labra brabasha labra brabasha da bore pere pere isa na moje ke teke la emene mano morose de brasa do rose de manika da bore vere barasa da bore da oh ya no remene mana sadaro ko sho le vesha le vesha le vesha ba sho na mono sho do bole pene pene sha ye she pene mala la pene sha oh 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 ye se pene pene sha mama maya mama maya mama maya oh yo oh yo oh yo oh yo eleka eleka le greve se nikra do reve keske reve se lato hai hai no go hai hai no go no go no go no go lere pragista la radista no poro nere mana mana ma mana ma mana ma oreba boreba keske da no se da omrema 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 mara more bebe Shake <laughs> Sobo <laughs> What an amazing flow and a burst 
of the energy of the Holy Spirit, our spirit with the Holy Spirit in us, praying. And I'm sure right there where you are, even at home praying, you had that same surge happening in you because you're hooking up with a mighty person of the Holy Spirit who helps us to pray. Hallelujah. 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 And so now as I was praying, the Lord just reminded me because it's something Pastor John asked. I just want to make sure that I've got it here. Pastor John asked for us to continue to pray for America. And so he asked me to transcribe this prophecy by Kenneth Hagin that he prophesied over the nation of America and because America, uh, 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 the things that are happening there, we can't just turn away and think, well, we just pray for our country. Our family, our spiritual family is in America. And besides the fact that God, God wants us to pray for America. So I'm going to read this prophecy because this, Pastor John didn't want us to listen to all kinds of other prophecies about what's happening in America or, you know, people prophesied a lot of things that didn't even come to pass, but he found this and he said, Sharon, pray this, pray it out. I looked, I looked, Kenneth Hagin said. I looked and I saw the hearts of men and oh, they were disturbed and perplexed. I saw a black dark cloud rise up from the eastern part of our nation and it came out of the capital of our nation. This is America now, right? And men responded to that darkness and arose and walked with it. And that darkness began to envelop this very land. But oh, oh, the hearts of many that know God, sensed in their spirits, and those of us that stand on the horizon of time shall sound forth a word of warning. And so there shall arise the mighty ones. That's us people. There shall arise the mighty ones, those called of God, separated unto him, and they shall make intercession. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yes. And the light shall shine. Amen. Amen. And drive back the darkness. Because yes, it's not flesh and blood there either that, 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 that we're contending with. Right? And the light shall shine and drive back the darkness because this is our, what our intercession is going to do now. Right? And evil and wicked men and women shall fall. And there will be those, and remember it was told unto you in advance. It was told unto you years in advance that there shall be those in high places who will fall down dead. And some will say, oh, but they would have made such a great leader. I cannot understand. But those who know the voice of the Spirit shall rejoice and be glad. For ye shall know that darkness has been stayed and the hand of the enemy has been defeated. So let's go everybody with the person of the Holy Spirit, right? And let's pray this out right now. Shamanakadavo, Yabeshkebal, 
la sala do ye pere basina yo povo do vista da sina ye pere de vista da barasta sina yo moro voce che le vesti bra bra bato ye le basti bra bro puto bro bisha no re vesti da bra bra da broste de brekita ye ne ne mara kode ni sapto pronto provo to e kode ni mana balando ni mana palando le che le vesti sha bra bra bato do borobo ni na maniano to ronde ni ma maniano to rondo ni sha bra tu tre bone che rano se trondo ni sha bra bato lo breve se le carbone ni na maniano te le breve se la more te le che dere ni ni ma na maniano le mosh le sette pre che te le breve ni oia e le mana to rondo yeshe 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 ya vala va yo le vega yo son mo lo Deshvela, Deshvela, o kono bodo chele mene, ya mana mala chole, mama mama chala nole, mama mama chala nole, yele le bala chala la chala nole, mene ne bisi a to ko trok to ko lo ko chere bo, misha bra bara sto trok to be le sto be to kiri ano lo, ya la ba ko chere be chere, ye ne ne ye ne ne, yo lo ko chere be, misha otia to ko trok to ko sa bo lo bo chele me na te trok o chia, ye la ba lo chia. Ye breve la sia la conto con lo broche ye le bala si sia la conto con lo broche mama la mattia no no voglio conciosche ya mana mana mo vesti de dorioske ya la mama mama na no no te rosti da dorioske na mara mana no 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 ya <laughs> So, 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 oh, so, 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 oh, yeah, oh my, yes, sir, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, thank you, Lord, all that, Father, that all of us have prayed right now, all that, Father, you know how to answer it, Father, you are spectacular in your response to our prayers, as your word says in Chronicles, you, his, in the days of Hezekiah, that your Your spectacular response was made to their prayers, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I want to thank you, Lord. I want to thank you. Lord, I just have it in my heart now just to share that you, you were a man, Jesus. Elijah was a man. You were a man on earth. And this is how men pray. In the days of his flesh, Jesus offered up for prayers and supplications with strong crying strong crying and tears some of the translations is with loud loud so this is this is a man and Elijah was a man and Jesus was a man son of man and so I encourage you encourage the men to to know that praying is for men amen it's a it's a man thing Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. And um so now we're going to pray for Pastor John. We're going to pray for Pastor John. Glory, glory, glory. We're going to pray for Pastor John. He has a wonderful scripture here. Here in Romans 15:30 it says here, dear brothers and sisters, I urge you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to join in my struggle. This is the Apostle Paul talking to the church. Join in my struggle by praying to God for me. Do this because of your love for me, given to you by the Holy Spirit. Isn't that wonderful? We are joining in in Pastor John's um, in his in his struggle. Well, he's striving. 
he's endeavoring, he's stretching, he's reaching to obey God, to hear God, to obey Him, to have the execution for everything, to be led by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. So we're praying to God for Him and we do this because of our love for Him given to us by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We love, we love Pastor John. And this is the the Amplified, I entreat you, I appeal to you for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ to unite with me in earnest wrestling in prayer to God on my behalf. The Weiss says, I beg of you, brethren, through our Lord Jesus Christ. You think Pastor John doesn't know what power our prayers have got for him? You know, he covets, says a place where the Apostle Paul says, I covet your prayers. He covets our prayers for him because he knows that God's answering them on his behalf. I beg of you, brethren, through our Lord Jesus Christ and through the love which is of the Spirit, contend vigorously with me in your prayers. Can we contend vigorously in the light of Jesus with strong crying and tears, you know, and on my behalf to God. Hallelujah. There's so many things that he's got on his plate. The churches, the media ministry, the missions, the education, the, all of the outreach, the evangelism, the personal things and all of the projects that he's got. You know, the things in Johannesburg, the things, um, the live streaming, the things that, that God wants to do. Too many for me to mention now. Hallelujah. But we're going to call it all. We're going to pray for him now. I like that. I want to just read that again before we pray for him. Vigorously. Contend vigorously with me in your prayers on my behalf. So here we go. Oh, we go for everything that Pastor John has need of right now, Father. Yes, the 
churches there will be such a revelation to the people of what God means about this as the year yes. of the local church those yes. to be positioned and placed and uh, be in a particular part of the body and what that means and that that and and the big and the bold we're going to pray it out for all of us mm. and the um, the abundant overflow of everything in all the areas yeah. of our lives yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray it out that um, God will fill us with the full knowledge of His will. Fill us with the full knowledge of His will. Hallelujah. 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 And make us sons of God that are filled with the zeal of God for His house. Just like Jesus. Jesus was consumed with the zeal of his father for his for his house yes, and that yes. we would become that yeah. hallelujah yes. hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah that we would yes. not have a light loose thing about local church you know just like I, we taught on sunday morning that but we would have that local positioned yeah. to a particular part of the body yeah. and that we would it's us called out to legislate and to be victorious yes. Yes. To overcome yes. hallelujah. hallelujah and so we pray for one another now yes. father come two or three minutes two or three minutes we're going to just press and pray with the holy spirit to the father hallelujah Mama, <laughs> 
We're going to go another minute or two just for that scripture that God keeps bringing through Pastor John and me, the, the one in Corinthians that Pastor John brought, come out from among her, come out from the world and be ye separate yeah. and I will be a father to you and you will be my sons and you will be my people. We're praying that out, that we come out completely as a people. We come out by the person of the Holy Spirit. We come out completely. Everything of the world that is in us just comes out completely. That we become a people, separated, holy, consecrated, separated, dedicated unto Him. We can only accomplish that fully in our lives by the person of the Holy Spirit. That's why it's so important for us to be get into His presence. And it's important for us to, to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stay close to Him. Hallelujah. Let's pray for one another, for all of that world to come out of us. All of Babylon. All of the thinking. All of the operating. All of it. Ah, that's what we want, Lord, for ourselves. We don't even know how much of it is still in us, Lord. And here we go, Father, praying for one another for that. Sebre caparano, sebre de carano, yes, que de farano, ye preperina no, ye preprefina mone menesas que prisa no, ye pere pacoro, eke de sidra mone, ye pere pacure de menesisha, na para clara pere que sidra bravina, na na manasso de menes que de pere pere estrena, che de pere tira bo, y mas tabasto, mora, mora, chora, mora, mora, trova, sora, to, ye mene maca do, que de mane po, che de que mane po, y para mone que, che de mene vista. Yes, 
Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We want that work done in every single one of us by the person of the Holy Spirit, not by a religious spirit, Father, but by the Holy Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah, that we would be holy even as you are holy, because that's what you said, Father. Be holy as I am holy, so we know we can be, Father. But how to be and what that means in each of us individually, Father, is a work that you must do. It's your work in us, Father. Holy Spirit, it's your work in us. For this we have asked you. For this we will continue to ask you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, thank you that you are answering. Hallelujah. Before you, we close, I just wanted to read this to you. In uh, James 5, verse 16, out of the Amplified, it says, The earnest, heartfelt, continued prayer of a righteous man, and that's all of us because the blood makes us righteous, makes tremendous power available and is dynamic in its working. Elijah was a human being with a nature just such as we have, and he prayed earnestly. See, the earnest, heartfelt when we pray, our heart feels. Mm. <laughs> you see, that's why when Jesus prayed, he, could, he prayed with strong crying. That word crying is also calling for things and even tears. Why? Because his heart felt what he was yeah. praying. It's earnest. It's heartfelt. My heart feels the thing I'm praying about. Yeah. Yeah. Praying for my nature, my heart feels the thing I'm praying about, yes. my heart feels for my brother and my sister yes. that the world is still in them and they, they don't even know. And that which is in me, someone's praying for me. Yes. Hallelujah. My heart feels that. Yes. Glory. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. So everybody, thank you for coming to pray. It's been a wonderful time of prayer and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you all so much. Yes.